Hi, people. Hi, YouTubers. And my new people that have subscribed. I don't want to say followers. Because I sort of think that's a weird term. Because I don't want followers. I want people to be equals and be sovereign beings, not followers. So, my subscribers who are interested in having conversations about the things I post and the weird videos. Like, we went up north this weekend and we, from, this was a lady who was my friend from years ago and we sort of went separate ways. I moved out of the town we lived, both lived in. She literally bought my house next door to her house. And then her daughter lived there. And her daughter actually is my nephew's um, mother, my great nephew's mother. Um, my nephew has a son with her because we used to live next door and that's how they met. And um, last year she died um, at 34, previa placenta, and um, she was pregnant again. And I think she was like seven months pregnant. And um, two weeks after she had passed, um, her daughter had died. So it was a little bit, I mean, it was hugely devastating for my family and her family, of course. But since then, we've started talking again. And she really needs just to, someone emotionally there to support her, I think. And because my husband died so many years ago, she did it for me. I, I listened to her. So um, she has this place up north. Um, she's had it for a few years, and this is the first time we all went up there. So, me and my daughter, my um, future son-in-law, uh, and my son and his girlfriend all took off, took off and went and spent the day. And it was good for my son because when his best friend passed away, he's been, you know, it was the third week only. And so, it was really hard for him to go to, you know, he has to get out of the house and do different things. And because this week is really bad, um, He's getting a police full naval escort from the airport home to our town. And then, um, you know, there are going to be showings on Thursday and Friday. So, it's sad. It's heartbreaking. But I'm so glad he got out this weekend. He did pretty good. She did great. I did okay until we all got in the car and drove home. And we all three cried. You know, my daughter, my son, and I myself. Just The other two don't know the people. And it broke my heart and I just cried all the way home. But I digress. I didn't want to go on all that. I just wanted to tell you what but we laughed so hard, we got stuck in the with the golf cart. Then I made a couple videos and then we went this really weird area. I mean it was the longest I lived in the country and this was different than the country. This was different. It was the longest road ever. With not a single house going completely through this random woods. I'm waiting for some Jason or some Bigfoot dude to run across in front of us. And it was all for a garage sale. It was hilarious to watch the video. It was it was hilarious what women do for a garage sale. <laughs> it, was, it was hilarious. But I digress. My thing with today was I've had so many serendipitous moments in the last couple weeks. So, I don't know if you've ever heard of Mark Atwood or JCK. I know you, you know, a lot of people have heard from Tara by Janine and um, a few of the other people that are out there, like Sam the Illusionist and different things like that. Well, I have been saying, like a couple videos ago, if people watch any of my videos about unwinding from the government, you know, like throwing a fit through your mother and things like that. So, oh, and there's Sloan Bella. But anyway, um,. JCK put out a video the day, it was a couple days, no, it was last week. So I did it a week before about that whole thing about um, unwinding yourself from the government and the handouts and maybe on the other side we manifest. She literally puts out a video a week later about unwinding yourself from the government. Like, it, that was so serendipitous. But it continues. And this happens, like, within this last week. This is not months going on. I've always had things where they happen to me, and then, like, a month later, it makes sense. Like, wow, that is what happened to me last week, and now they're talking about it. Like, yeah, that's strange. But, I mean, that's a lot of my life. It's strange. 
if you're if you uh, allow yourself to look at it that way because it really is so um then sloan bella last week i talked about the govern or the courthouse and the cops and how they're they're rude and they're um they instill fear in you and you're victimizing yourself allowing them to make you a victim because if they can't make you a victim, their success is gone. Their their intimidation is gone. It's gone. It's 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 gone. Just evaporates into thin air. They have no control over you. They can do whatever they want to your physical body, but they are not controlling you, your mind. You're free. Um so it was rather interesting because I posted that the night before Sloan Bella came out with her whole video about cops and their stars and their sigils and them crossing their arms and the way they cover their eyes with glasses so you can't see the person behind them. And they do all that stuff because that's exactly how I roll. I look at people's eyes. So then, um, then Mark Atwood comes out with a couple days before. That's my daughter texting me if you hear that today is my birthday so she's like mom come home come home so we can have cake but I just got out of work so and I had to do this video because it's really pertinent to what is occurring in this world so um where was I I was talking about market oh how you got to be accountable and responsible for your actions I have taught my children that for years um, since they were little kids if you're going to do something or have somebody do something to you, you have to be responsible for how you react. Now, at 22, 24, 26, they react foolishly. They, they're they not thinking, um, even though I instilled it to them. Uh, my my youngest does it better than the two older ones. But my oldest son, he's like, oh my God, mom, you cause me all my anxiety. Like, dude, I do nothing to you and I cause you anxiety. Like, how does that work? Because he doesn't want to be responsible for what is happening to him or how upset he gets he wants to be able to do whatever he wants to do and you know I can't say anything to him let him live he will learn so will my daughter but you know until then but it just cracked me up on the accountability and responsibility and then um there was several so many things that just have been every time I turn on a video or I get up in the morning and go to work and then turn on my phone to check how many subscribers I got on YouTube because I'm obsessed. <laughs> it's so silly because this is my owl. I really want to to live freer um, and I don't want to have the nine to five constrictions and constraints and I know there is like, like I've explained, um, the universe told me to spread love on YouTube. That's what I'm doing. It's just what I'm doing. I'm doing what I was told to do. Anyway, um, the serendipitous moments are just astronomical right now uh, of the different things. And, you know, what's really amazing is my brother, so I have a younger brother, and he's always been on the cusp of expanding his mind, but you know, oh, Sylvia, you're weird. But in the last six months, oh, he has woke up to so many different things that I, we we have deep conversations about. We should do a podcast one day. We should do it. We should we should just get online and talk. I do maybe a live when I get enough, you know, subscribers. You have to have so many subscribers to do that. But it'd be a blast because we just ramble on and we talk about everything and just how it associates to. The ascension 5d 3d how 3d wants to pull you back in. i mean it's difficult to be in 3d you always have to be aware that you cannot unleash your ego your e but you're a person so how do you get completely out of your ego as a person i mean i'm still i'm still um not sure how that how that happens because you can be in 5D and I truly believe while well, I explained it on the last video 5D and you get what you get but is there never an occasion where you get frustrated or angry ever again I don't know I don't know I mean I take one day at a time that's about all I can do and um, I'm still grieving over the loss of my surrogate son because he was like a surrogate son um, but I'm trying to let go of the grief too because that's another means of, you know, 
know, we have to look at it as they're way, you know, they're, they just move to a different dimension. They, they're they there. You'll see them again. Leave it alone. Live your life. Be at peace. Because I truly don't believe that they grieve us over there. They're not crying and saying, oh, I miss Sylvia. No, no, no. They're expanding. They're, they're, they're in the love light. They didn't. I mean, they. I'm sure they'll wait for us when we get over, or they when we need them, they come. But I don't think they sit over there and go, "Oh, poor Sylvia, she's suffering." So they don't have an ego like that. I I don't think so. It's just bliss. I'll tell you the story. One day, when I I don't know when it's I have more time or whatever about my husband taking me to heaven or what I considered heaven. But every time I do, it makes me cry. So I'll have to do that on a different day because I really don't want to cry. It's my birthday and I really don't want to because I know once I start that little boy being gone, I probably won't stop. Anywho, um, uh, there's Beyond Mystic, who's with Tarot by Janine, um, who did this woo video with Cliff and it's really strange about how a lot of his things People are focusing on like the energies of the earth and the energies of this and energies of that um, and I, I mean that moves people on just like I, I think Tara by Janine is really cool I, I, I find her rather fascinating but to be a follower of her I'm not a follower I'm not a follower it just isn't gonna happen I'm not going I when this first started and I listened to Isaac Cappy and it blew my mind. I mean, I was already open-minded to a lot of the different things and dimensions and quantum physics and things like that. I've already looked up a lot of that stuff. But, um, when Isaac Cappy came out with all the, the Holly weirdos doing all their stuff, well, I had to go through the whole process of opening my mind to the whole different aspect of the ascension. I mean, this took months. It didn't happen just overnight. Like, oh, wake up, smell the coffee. There, There's an ascension going on. There's a bigger picture. Let it go. But the months that I have done this of trying to expand myself and, and realize the ascension is that none of this is real. Like, literally none of this is real. Even though I go through and even though I have to drive to work and still work and things like that, none of it is actually, it's how you react to it. And so with the energies and things like that, if you're in 5D, the energy won't ever bother you. I mean, it will never be able to touch you. So it's still living in the 5D, which, you know, people are still, and I think it's okay because people that are still awake are still looking for affirmations, you know, of is this real or is that or is this. But I really don't, um, it's, it's more what I look for are the clues that I'm, that I'm going in the right direction, I guess. I mean, I should know in my heart of hearts that I already know that, that you can't go on a bad direction for yourself. You really can't. Every step you take is a step towards your goal. I mean, just as far as that goes. Um, and I do like that these people are, like, Sloan Bella just talks about whatever and I, I like her because she doesn't assume anybody needs to listen to her I don't need to listen to her she doesn't talk about the politics and the, the world events and things like that um I don't I don't know it just was strange when I was listening to him and he was talking about the different things that I know to exist or that exist like birds Nobody ever talks about the bird or the robin that I saw. Okay, so I saw a robin and it told me that no animals exist beyond the three, this level, 3D. Because we don't need them. Um, we don't need their comfort. We don't need their assistance in loving and being kind after um, this dimension. And that's what the bird told me I, when I was at work one day. He, he just said, I'm not real. I'm, I'm only here for your benefit to... to allow you to teach you to love and be um, accepting of other creatures that exist on this planet for human, for, for the evolution of humans. And I said, so what happens? Because I had a dog named Dewey and I love my Dewey. And it, they exist on the other side because they were always fractals of God, but they don't exist 
as far as dogs or animals beyond this point. That's what it told me. So I said, okay, okay, that makes sense. I mean, it made absolute sense. But, well, I have talked probably way too long and bored the crap out of everybody. <laughs> but it's okay. I like talking sometimes. I, I've been wanting to make this video for the last couple days, and I just haven't. Um, I made it once, and then I had to delete it because the car was really loud. But I just wanted to know if everybody else has serendipitous moments right now. Like, they're so, they're so profound and so in your face. And so, I don't even know. Like, it, it's almost like this slap in your face. Like, bam. Oh my God, that was what I just did yesterday. Like, whoa. And somebody else is doing it today. Huh. Like, I like it. I like it. But anyway, I will let you guys go. I'm going to go. You guys, please like, share, subscribe to my channel. Um, I do have other videos, but have a great night. And I will have a happy birthday. Thank you.